Hey folks, I hope you're not as excited as my cat, because I just don't know if we can contain that much excitement. Are you ready for some good news? First up, a new treatment for a common knee injury is currently undergoing human trials. It's called the cell bandage. It's intended to treat tears of the menisci, strips of cartilage in the knee. Meniscal tears are among the most common sports injuries and can be difficult to repair, so difficult that many patients opt to have the injured meniscus removed altogether, which puts them at much higher risk for developing osteoarthritis later in life. The cell bandage is made from the patient's own stem cells, which are grown on a membrane scaffold and then implanted onto the injury site. Human trials are still in their early stages and are very limited, but results have been encouraging so far. All five subjects studied in the trial were fully healed within a year, and three of the five were still intact with normal knee function after two years. The cell bandage is being developed by the company Azalon. The trial was conducted by scientists at the University of Liverpool and the University of Bristol, and the results of the trial are published in the journal Stem Cells Translational Medicine. Next up, did any of you ever have those build-your-own-radio kits when you were kids? Because I could never get mine to work, and now I know why. They forgot to include the diamonds. Here, I'll tell you what the hell I'm talking about. Researchers at Harvard have built the world's smallest radio receiver, which detects electromagnetic signals using tiny imperfections created in the surfaces of diamonds. Those imperfections are technically known as nitrogen vacancy centers, or NV centers, and they're made by replacing a carbon atom in the surface of a diamond with a nitrogen atom. NV centers are simple yet very powerful tools for sensing electromagnetic waves, such as those used in FM radio. The NV centers used in this study are the size of two atoms, making them the smallest radio receivers ever built. When they receive a radio signal, the NV centers emit photons, which are then picked up by a photodiode and converted to electric current, then sent to a speaker and converted to sound. It can be tuned using an electromagnet, and because it's made from diamonds, the receiver is able to operate in extreme temperatures and other harsh environments, making it suitable for use in outer space and inside living organisms. The research on the world's smallest radio receiver is published in the journal Physical Review Applied. And finally, a new study finds evidence that nutrition may be key to maintaining a healthy brain throughout life. Specifically, the study, conducted by researchers at the University of Illinois, linked consumption of lutein, an organic pigment found in leafy green vegetables, to the preservation of crystallized intelligence. Crystallized intelligence is the ability to use learned knowledge. The study found that subjects aged 65 to 75 with higher levels of lutein in their blood performed better on tests designed to measure crystallized intelligence. Subjects with higher lutein levels also tended to have a higher volume of gray matter in the region of the brain called the parahippocampal cortex, the preservation of which has previously been associated with healthy aging. Though more study is needed to establish a causal link between eating lutein and maintaining crystallized intelligence as we age, the researchers speculate that lutein may help control brain inflammation or aid cell-to-cell -cell signaling. The study is published in the journal Frontiers in Aging Neuroscience. A bandage made of stem cells could help to heal a common knee injury. Scientists build the smallest radio receiver in the world, and eating plenty of leafy green vegetables could be key to maintaining a healthy brain as we age. That's the good news. Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.